Hi, here we have a, a, a Dalek which is controlled by an iPhone or an iPhone Touch. Now this is, this is achieved by using processing to interpret signals from the iPod or the iPhone and that is sent to uh, this board here which is actually this board here. Now this board here is um, currently in production so I haven't got any back from the, uh, the factory yet so we haven't used the development board but I'll give you an overview of what it does. Okay, you can send in serial commands into the RS-232 serial or TTL into this port here to control 12 servos with three switchable outputs and also you can actually program the onboard RAM and play it back by using this button here or actually uh, using a trigger which can be um, you know, anything from an external switch to a microprocessor to another computer to play back whatever's stored here to the 12 servos and the outputs. Okay. Now I've written some code in, in processing, you can probably just about see it there, which is actually rendered here. Now, <clears throat> as I move the uh, the iPod, you can see it's tilting everything. Let me see if I can get this all in there. If I press this button here, lights on, lights off. This one here, on, off, on, off. And as I move this circular one here, I can move the center box. Now this is all sent over serial to this board here. Because it's flashing away because it's getting data. So what I'll do is I'll uh, just hook in some power. There we go. Okay. Now our Dalek, as I move this, it moves the head round. I can hit the lights on and off and the turret light on and off, there it is, you see there on, off, okay now to drive this I use the accelerometer, so if I move forward, it goes forward, back, one way and the other way, so driving forward, turn the turret, Backwards. Turn lights on and off. So there we have, I do believe, the world's first iPhone controlled Dalek. It's pretty pointless, but it's quite a cool example of what you can do with this little board here and a few lines of code in processing. Um, I've also more demos of the board and um, other thing, other cool things you can do with this and processing. So um, stay tuned and check my other videos out for that kind of stuff. Okay, I should also point out that this board can go wireless uh, by using one of these uh, little Bluetooth adapters. This basically plugs into here, and then you basically got a wireless 12-channel servo controller with the old three outputs and the recordability and playback features. Um, this is this is small enough to go inside inside this so as soon as I get some of these back from manufacturing I can actually make a wireless one of these right let's see how this thing is actually put together now this is actually one of the um, I think it's a bubble bath uh, container I picked up in Asda um, that's Walmart for the uh, our, our viewers in America um, and it didn't have this part so I'd, I've had to make this using a some kind of it's like a weird flexi uh, grommet and little bits of plastic and a, a tube from a chupa chup um, now let me see, i pop this off, you can see there's the servo that rotates the head, there's some wires which go up in there, inside there to control the LEDs which do these, and the turret LED, ok let me just pop this down, if I pop this off, here you can see a couple of little 360 degree continuous rotation servos, let's get this off, with an ingenious wheel that I've uh, created. It's actually a, two servo horns like that with a, a, a rubber o-ring. It's just about give it enough clearance and roll about. So there we go. It's really simple. It's just a couple of servos with another one for the turret and uh, three LEDs. There we go.